On February 24, 2020, the giant tanker Stellar Banner ran aground and developed a heavy starboard tilt into the water. The crew was evacuated and the vessel was refloated so that the salvage teams could remove 3,500 tons of fuel oil and its 275,000 tons of iron ore cargo. But it was found that the ship could not be repaired and it was deliberately scuttled. Dramatic footage was captured of the 440,924 ton ship as it sinks into the water and the sounds as it sinks is eerily incredible. On October 7, 2019, the CSL Virginia container ship was hit by the ferry Ulysses, which punched a huge hole in the side of the tanker and released thick crude oil that washed up along beaches near Corsica. The accident happened because the watch officer aboard the Tunisian Ulysses was talking on his phone at the time of the accident and did not notice the CSL Virginia had anchored in an unusual spot. The tanker also had its deck lights lit and had been detected by the ferry's radar more than an hour before the accident. It took five days to separate the two ships and cost millions of dollars in damage. Our next big ship accident involves the $39 million mega yacht Yogi. In footage shot aboard a helicopter, the yacht can be seen on its side in choppy seas and bad weather as the crew are evacuated. The reason the million-dollar boat sank was due to one of the engines overheating, and there was a failure at the stern door that let water in. The second engine failed, and the boat eventually sank in five hours. The entire crew was rescued, uninjured, if not a bit cold. Back in March 2013, video footage was captured showing two cargo vessels that were too close together. The larger 57,770-ton Bexhalil cargo ship is shown right on the tail of a smaller Vietnamese cargo ship, which is blindly veering into its path. With its horns blaring, the Bexhalil hits the cargo ship, pulling off one of the slowest pit maneuvers ever caught on camera. The Coast Guard was called, but luckily no one was injured. But we do know there must have been some damage to both ships. In December 2019, passengers aboard two cruise ships were shaken when the two ships collided at the port of Cozumel in Mexico. Carnival Glory was trying to dock when the bow of the smaller Carnival Legend ripped a hole across its back end, taking out a big chunk of the ship. No one is certain what caused the crash, but bad weather and high winds were blamed. No one was seriously hurt, and all passengers who just witnessed the crash were told to have a nice time in Cozumel. In this footage, someone captures the moment a cruise ship named Excellent crashes into a big cargo loading barge. Workers on the barge are seen running for their lives as one of the giant cranes collapses, landing on cargo and starting a fire. Stormy weather and rough water was to blame for the accident, and there was nothing excellent about this. In South, that the Turcos 8 was intentionally run aground so that it could be dismantled. In this footage, you can see where one cargo ship tries to pass too closely by the Girolata cargo passenger ship. It looks like the big ship will squeeze by and make it okay, but then disaster happens and the back end of the Girolata smashes into the lifeboats on the side of the passing ship as they fall into the water. Nobody was hurt, but there was some significant damage and somebody had some explaining to do. Sometimes shipping accidents aren't out at sea, and in April 2014, video was captured of the 610-foot container ship Hansa Constitution veering off course and heading for the football field at the University of Hong Kong. If you look closely, rust clouds come off the anchor chains as the giant ship comes to a stop just before the field. The accident was blamed on loss of power and high winds. In July 2013, the Mole Comfort cargo ship was loaded with 4,382 full-size containers and 7,041 smaller containers headed from Singapore to Saudi Arabia. But the ship couldn't handle the weight and the hull started to break in the middle. The crew was rescued from the ship safely, but later the ship broke into two pieces, caught fire, and then sank. 
Cargo ships can have accidents without breaking in two, though, and recently the ship One Epus found itself in a nasty Pacific storm and suffered a massive container stack collapse where it was carrying 14,020 foot containers. Of those, 1,816 containers were filled with batteries, fireworks, and two containing liquid ethanol, ending up falling into the ocean and sinking. A loss of over $200 million. Luckily, no one was injured and the ship made it back safely to port. 